What's up guys I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. So guys this tutorial is basically the continuation from EFS with Lambda tutorial series as you can see on my screen. So that is this one EFS with Lambda. So guys uh, earlier we have attached VPC to our Lambda function in order to access EFS right and now let's say we want to access S3 bucket or the S3 service for data storage or uh, data manipulation or we want to put our get object from the S3 right. So how we can do that? So by default, uh, while we attached VPC, uh, we won't be able to access the external resources or external services, right? So let's get started. So login into AWS Management Console. Let's navigate to the Lambda Management Console first and open the Lambda function, right? That we have created as a part of the Lambda underscore EFS tutorial. So basically this is the Lambda function and this is where we uh, left. So here uh, we had installed TensorFlow and uh, we were testing this Lambda function, right? So this is where we left off. So let's go ahead and run this Lambda function just to check whether everything is working fine or not. So now as you can see the Lambda function is working fine, right? So it ran successfully without any errors and here we have a few uh, print statement that we had printed as a part of the function code, right? So now, for example, I want to uh, store this tensor as a string uh, in a file on S3 bucket, right? So how we can do that? So the very first thing that we will require is to import Boto3. And once we have the Boto3 imported, we will define the S3 object, right? So S3 equal to Boto3 dot client, followed by the service that is S3, right? So now we have defined the Boto3 object for S3 and here we will simply say S3 dot put underscore object followed by the bucket name. So I want to upload this file to recognite bucket that I already have and I want to save it as that is key equal to EFS hyphen data hyphen log dot txt and what I want to store is body equal to string of tensor right this is what I want to upload and save it as EFS hyphen data hyphen log dot txt now let me deploy this and it is deployed successfully now let's test this lambda function So now as you can see uh, the lambda function got timeout after uh, 123.02 seconds right so what happened is that it basically tried to uh, reach out to s3 or tried to access s3 but it didn't right so it uh, waited for the response and then finally the lambda function got timeout so it was unable to access the s3 right in short so now uh, the question is that how we can access S3. So for that we will be using VPC endpoint. So basically VPC endpoint enables you to privately connect your VPC uh, that is being attached with this Lambda function to the supported AWS services and basically VPC endpoint services is powered by AWS private link, right? So what we have to do is now we need to navigate to VPC management console. So click on services, navigate to VPC. Now, once you are within VPC management console, click on endpoints under virtual private cloud from the left panel and click on create endpoint. Now here uh, within service category, uh, you can select AWS services and within service name search for S3 and select that. Within VPC, you need to select the VPC that you have attached with your Lambda function and then we need to check this route table. Now once it is done, uh, you can define the policy that uh, what kind of access you want to give that is full access or the custom access. So for example, you want to provide only get access or the put object access, then you can define the policy over here. But at this point of time, I will go with full access. If you want to add a tag, then click on add tag and finally click on create endpoint. Now the VPC endpoint is created successfully. Now we don't need to do anything apart from this. We can go back to the Lambda function and click on test. 
and now it should uh, run successfully so now as you can see it ran successfully uh, there is no exception over here now we can navigate to s3 to check whether the file is uploaded or not so click on services s3 i will search for the bucket name in which i have uploaded the file so that is recognite in my case and i will say last modified sort by last modified and as you can see here we have the file saying efs hyphen data hyphen log dot txt so well uh, this is how you can access uh, services from the lambda function using vpc endpoint right so well uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you